All right, Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost. I want to give all the honors. And you know the praises and glory belongs to Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to you brothers and sisters that are listening and that are also learning, right? In the hopes of being saved within these last days, right? This lesson is going to be a quickie. It's not going to be a long one because I've got to stay consistent. We have to stay consistent within this truth. We can't stop now. And Lord willing, it's not for certain, but Lord willing, we may, if the Lord permits, do some late. Say if I can't get to sleep or whatever, whatever. We may do some late night videos because I remember when I used to do that. Late night, late morning video. We just have to see how the spirit goes. But it's a quick one. And yeah, there's a lot I've been pondering upon. A lot of things are happening. We're in very, very, very serious times. I want to start off on John. Right? John. I think it's John 17 and 14. I'm finding out more about this world and how corrupt and how wicked it is. Now, you know, let's go to it. John 17. And 14, I have given them thy words. This is Yahweh speaking. And the world have hated them. Because they are not of the world. Even I as I'm not of the world. So when we're reading this, this is Yahweh the Messiah speaking. Look, I'm giving them thy words. But the world hated them. The churches don't really teach you like that. All right, you're going to have the words. You're going to have an anointing. You're going to have a blessing. They teach you the whole world's going to love you. No. You're going to be hated. It doesn't mean everybody's going to hate you. But the majority, because they're of the world. And you do know the scriptures are against this world. You know that, right? James 4 and 4, right? Because the love of this world is enmity with the most high, right? Because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So if one of this world, you're gonna you're gonna stand out like a sore thumb. And guess what? Nobody wants to stand now. Because what happens when you stand now? You become a target. Nobody wants to stand now. Right? Even with fishes. The fishes, the all, all the small fishes behind behind what the big fishes. So they don't get it up. So it's the same thing. Right? I pray not that you should take them out of the world because we still have a mission. But that should keep us them from the evil. So we're kept from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So if you're not of this world, yes, people are going to look at you strange, weird. He's a bit different. He moves a bit different. Yes. That's how people going to that's how people are going to look at you. Right? So now we went to that. I want to make sure I'm going into the right one. All right? Do I have do I have any regrets concerning the way I was teaching the truth and certain moves I made? No. You know why? Because I know everything is of the Lord Jehovah's will. But there were certain things I would have done differently. Certain things I would have done differently. And one thing you've got to realize, remember, bro, if you're teaching the truth, we're living in a world that hates the truth. Hates the truth. We're living in a world where you're speaking your mind, bro, that could be, that can be crucial. Right? That could be crucial. And um, it's saying a thing where you should be fearing because the Lord says, I will put these words in thy mouth, fear not them. So we're not supposed to fear them. But we're supposed to be mindful what we say, what we do. Example, say if you do a lesson on GMO food, right? GMO foods and, you know, the corruption, what they spray in it, the, the chemicals. When you're doing a lesson like that, do you know what impact that has on Monsanto? It has a massive impact on Monsanto. So you may think, well, I'm just doing a lesson on GMO. No, because the more people watch that, the more people are going to leave certain companies 
and think, no, you're messing up their money. Another example. Let me get another example. You're teaching about the falsehoods of Christianity. Well, do you know what that does to the Christianity? Do you know what that does to the organizations? It messes them up. You talk about health, holistic health. You talk about the scriptures, physician, a true physician. Do you know what that does to the doctors and so forth? So, it's a powerful thing. I don't realize how powerful this truth is. This truth is powerful. It's powerful. Because the more you speak upon these things, you can actually take a company out of business. Now, with you doing that, right, yes, it be can become dangerous. I don't want to get into too much talk about gang stalking because I think I talk about it too much. And I don't want that be to become my reality. Even if it is a present reality, I don't want it to become my whole reality. So... There's many reasons why one could be stalked. Remember, we're dealing with people have power, right? Go to um, Ecclesiasticus. Check this out. It says, keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So I'm not saying you're not bold. You, you're bold, but you're not stupid. See, there's a difference between being bold and stupid. Right, especially when you have this truth, because when you have this truth, we have already got enough to deal with already. And especially if you haven't sold out and you're not on that left hand side, you already stand now. So we don't want to be making things even hard for ourselves. It says, Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. There's people that can do that, there's people that have connections, there's people that can, if, if they wanted to, the only reason you're alive because Yahweh Shai wants you alive. But there's people that have that pulling power in high places. So I'm not I'm not saying, oh, be scared, hide in a corner. I'm just saying be mindful, right, of how we're operating in Satan's kingdom. Because we're still in another man's kingdom. So shall I not doubt the fear of death? And if thou come unto him, make no thought, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that God is in the midst of snares, traps. And this is what I'm learning even more now. Risky. Risky. Right? There's snares out here. There's traps. And that walk is among the battlements of the city. What well, in this man's battlements represents what a castle or fortification. Anything can happen. You're just walking around here, you know, like everything's hunky-dory. What on the battlefield? What, what on enemy lines? And you walking around here, lackadaisical. This is for myself as well. This is the bro. This is this is life and death. This is not a joke. There's people out here that want to, bro. There's people out here that are trying to do you harm. There's people out here that want you uh, locked up, dead, whatever, on medication, just for the truth you're speaking. Just for the truth you're speaking. I didn't really, I realized the truth was powerful, but the impact it has on certain people, because not every people are going to look at um, certain things all the same. So be mindful, we're in the battlements of, of the city. Sometimes you can't go to the same place over and over and over again. Because if you do that, remember the devil, he's setting up, he's setting up tactics. There's cameras, he could just set up all types of things. All types of things. We have to be mindful, right? And you know another thing as well. You know, um, within these cars as well. You know, with the rear mirrors, you have the rear mirrors and all that. You know, they can put certain incapacitator incapacitator lights in these rear mirrors as well. There's all types of tactics this devil has, right? You're teaching this truth. If there's a target on your back, a contract, whatever, it's because you pissed off the wrong individual. That's why. And there's different scenarios. I can't, bro. There's different scenarios. It's not the same for all. But that can happen. You know, you're speaking the truth, you're whistleblowing, and someone gets pissed off and puts your name on that list. It's not that you've done anything wrong, right? It's that you were whistleblowing, you were telling the truth. 
And now you're in this situation. Right? My whole thing, you're just going to have to, um, bro, like I've said this many times, it's, it's, this is this is beyond our pay grade. This is way beyond you. You can't do it yourself. Right? You can't do it yourself. There's too much of them. Right? You're going to have to take this one to to the Lord, you have a shy. Right? And yet I've said it already. Yes, there's a satanic element, a high satanic element to it. Right? It's the system. When you talk about you're going to go against the grain, well, even that, if you say something like that, well, be prepared to go against the system. Right? But just know Yahweh is with you and it's a blessing. Every day you get to teach this truth, it's a blessing that Yahweh keeps us sane. Bro, I should have lost my mind all the things I've been through and all the things I'm still going through, but the Lord still keeps me sane. Right? We're going to shut off soon. Go to Matthews. This is just a quick hit. Man. And bro, there's been a lot of things I've been, been examining. I've been examining my patterns. Did I open any doors? Because sometimes we may look at ourselves. The first thing is to do when you, when a lot of things are happening to you is, well, is there any sin patterns? Is there any doors I've opened? No, I've prayed over it. There's no doors I've opened. I've closed every door. Yes, and it could also be people that are around you because they have doors open if they're not in the truth. So there's various different means why things can happen. But that's not always the case. Always remember, no, no, no. Because you're fighting for righteousness. So you fight for righteousness. It just, it just comes with the territory. This just comes with the territory. Go to Matthews 10 and 16. Th then we shut off. Excuse me. Behold, I sent you forth a sheep in the midst of wolves. Right? So, <laughs> what's said as that's what was sent as. What do wolves do? Devour sheep. See, sheep are somewhat vulnerable, right? They're attentive, though. They're careful. And they're very watchful. So, that's how we're supposed to be. Attentive, watchful. We're in the midst of wolves. You can't just be um, you can't just be out here puffing at your shoulders. Because there's wolves. What do wolves do? If a wolf has an opportunity, it would devour that sheep. And these people are looking to devour us. Tear us from limb to limb. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And this is how I conduct myself on camera, even when I'm off camera. I don't put on an act. So yeah, even when the cameras are off, this is who I am. I don't put on an act. Right? And harmless as doves. Verse 17, but beware of men. All these scriptures are really coming to light. Really coming to light. Right? Beware of men. There's a lot of demonic men. There's a lot of demonic satanic networks. And I've always said this. I believe this when you really wake up. Really, really wake up to your Habashah and the truth. And you grow. I believe the spiritual realm gets notified. I believe that heavily. You know how people get notified on their phone? You know? With the whole so stupid gang stalking thing. Well, which it really is human trafficking. It's racketeering. But you know how people get notified? He's coming into the area and this and that. Well, that has to start in the spiritual realm first. And I do believe if you're if you're speaking this truth, you're immediately going to become a threat to Satan. So the, who, what do you think is going to happen with those that are serving Satan? You're going to become a threat to them. One may say, mate, you're not a threat. You're nobody. All right. Well, if that's the case, why would you need all these people to come up one individual? All these people. So it must be some type of threat. Right. And whoever's sending these people your way, my way, that's someone that's trying to send you a message. Don't mess with me. I have connections. That's that, bro. That's someone that's trying to send you a message. Ultimately, Satan. <laughs> but remember, it's spiritual. It's all spiritual, no matter how you look at it. But it's 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 getting real. It's getting real. Right.
But this this is not supposed to deter us because the enemy wants you to be deterred. He wants you to, oh, I need to stay in my house. No, you go out when you need to go out. Right? The Lord didn't give us the Holy Spirit so we could be hermits. But you but we also want to be wise. You gotta be careful because I'm seeing a lot of people trying to lay traps and snares. I'm seeing it more than ever. Right? So this is 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 quite serious. And stay in prayer. Prayer is the main thing. Prayers of deliverance, prayer of um more knowledge. You have a shy if I'm missing something. If if there's anything I'm missing, show me it quick. If there's anything I'm missing, because sometimes we don't pay attention. So they, look, if it's happening, I'm talking about constantly, constantly, constantly heavy, right? When you gotta take that to your have a shy. Right? Okay. It could even be broke. There's many different scenarios, but I'm not getting into all of that because you're just gonna bug yourself out. It could be someone you're connected to. It could some could be someone you were talking to. That's why I always say be careful as well who you're talking to as well. People trying to get information out on you. It's, it's about what? Four or five people I've spoken to in the period of two weeks. And these people are asking for my numbers, my contacts. Women as well. What's your name? This and that. And now you have people that are kind that just want to know. But again, just certain things. You just have to be aware. Be aware. Right? And we're going to shut off. But beware of men for they will deliver you up to councils. This is going to happen. This is going to happen because Yahweh Shai said. Councils is meeting, buildings. Governmental buildings. And they will scourge you in their synagogues. Some of you are going to be beaten. The scripture said this would happen. That's why the apostle says a lot of men don't actually understand what they're involved in. A lot of men don't understand what they're involved in. Right? And you shall be brought before governors. So who are the governors? Right? You have governors of every town, right? The governors are your local politicians, right? You're going to be brought before some of them. You're going to be brought because you're going to have people. You have people out here that are trying to build up a case. This is scriptural. Don't bug out. The scripture said this would happen. I even prophesied this years ago. I remember I'd done a video years and years and years ago about a smear campaign. And all these things have happened. Bro, this is how you know this is the truth. And now all these things are happening. Don't be surprised when you see certain people. It's not going to happen to all. Don't be surprised if you see some of you are brought before what synagogues, court systems. And you see certain people. The same people you see today. That was smiling in your face. Right? Because Satan needs to build up a counter case. To, sh to show that oh, you're not worthy to make it or judge. That's what Satan's trying to do. Because them demons. They think you're not worthy to judge them. Really it's Yahweh Shadda's judging them. And that's why I keep saying. Repent every single day. Every single day. And we're going to shut off soon. And it should be for you for a testimony and silica before governors and kings for my sake. Some of you are going to be brought before the rough charts, personally before the rough charts. They're watching your videos. Another thing, who's able, bro, who has that much pulling power? All right, the program. You see the police, bro, I'm starting to see more things. The police are involved as well. The police are involved, the fire brigades, the ambulances. Bro, who has that power? It's not your local nigger on the street. No. There's a contract to have that power. I don't even think a con I don't I don't even, I don't even think a contractor has all that power. No. What to control the police and the ambulances and all these corporations. I think this may be the elites. It's someone that has a lot of power. This ain't your everyday individual, your everyday Joe Smoke. So the elites don't think, bro, the elites know who you are. Do you think they're not watching your videos? You're talking about the end of Babylon, the end of America. We're talking about the end of Babylon. End of you think they're not watching you?
Oh man. And it shall be to you for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So when this time does happen, it's going to be for a testimony for you to speak everything you were going through. That's going to be that moment. To speak the words of truth, just how you have been. Right? And yeah, there is going to be people that you notice there. It's how, that's how it's going to play out. Right? Bro, there's certain things I've, I've prophesied, I had dreams about. Right? Yeah, it's going to be people. It's going to be certain people you would never expect. Right? Some of your neighbours may be in there. Some family members, relatives. People you were teaching the truth with. That's why we can't be naive. That's why you can't open up to everyone. every Everybody. Because remember, people got demons on them. Let's shut off. I keep saying that I'm going to shut off, but, you know, it's according to the spirit. But when they deliver you up, take no thought or how or what you shall speak. So, yeah, you're going to be delivered up. Right? You're going to be delivered up. Take no thought of how or what you shall speak. For it shall be given you in the same manner what you shall speak. For it, shall, for it is not you that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Right? So, and it says, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death and the father the child. These things are going on. Right? You, these organizations, they can turn your family. If your family are weak minded, if they don't know what's going on. You see how they're turning people. This is what they're going to do. It's called slander campaign. And the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death, and they shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. It's in the scriptures. Bro, we can't change how people think about us. You can't change that. Right? You just got to teach the words. But he that enjoyeth to the end, the same shall be saved. So let's continue to enjoy. But this is why I'm ready, ready, tread carefully within this truth. Right? I mean, analyze ourselves first. Don't be so fast to move. Sometimes you have to, sometimes you have to stay still. Sometimes you have to move. Sometimes you have to stay still. Sometimes you have to move. Sometimes you have to change location. Right? Because there's many stumbling blocks, there's many pitfalls, there's many thorns, there's many landmines. Yeah, there's many landmines. I hope this has been edifying to whoever's listening. Right? And shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.